Okay, more data. Let's see. <clears throat> so this is a John matchup. I actually played this person uh, two times. Fortunately, they they played a second time and I was able to get a little bit more data out of the Jun matchup, which is what I'm really trying to get here lately. So anyways, uh, here, uh, Lantern, uh, Bridge, and Stirring. So according to the spreadsheet, this should be a decent hand. <clears throat> and Inquisition. It's unfortunate. So, um, I ex... I want to say I expected them to take bridge. I think he took surgical instead, though. If I remember correctly, yeah. I'm guessing because they expected to be able to draw into an answer for bridge using dark confidant. So, anyways, I played the uh, needle, or I played the lantern. See the needle and thoughts he's on top. Now here I see a thoughts he's coming, so I know I'm going to lose. You know my bridge. I know they're going to get rid of it. I have not seen my opponent's hand yet, <clears throat> and uh, so here I'm thinking that I need to go ahead and land this opal because the if they make me discard the opal, then I am in trouble. Uh, if I can, they can't make me discard ruins, so that way if they do get rid of my bridge, I can. Uh, I'm going to play needle, or I'm going to play something that I stirrings for, and then I'll have metalcraft, and I can just get the uh, bridge back whenever I want, so long as they don't have. Uh, scavenging news. That's that's probably my. I realize that's probably my best out right here. So that's what I'm going for. I go ahead and play the opal. I mean, there's no reason not to, anyways, because of course they. Uh, uh, if I don't play the opal, then I mean, they know it's in my hand. So. So I realize that making sure I keep that blue source is probably my best bet. Uh, now there is a collective brutality on top. Now it might have been silly there for me to play Liliana uh, or cast uh, and name Liliana instead of um, scavenging ooze, because again my plan is to use ruins and get my bridge back. But the reason I named Lily is because uh, between ooze, I can I got a collective brutality coming up and there's no creature in the graveyard. So that means that I can just kill Ooze if I really need to. Um, and then if they have Liliana, then it's okay. All I need to do is live long enough to hit a bridge after that, and then one of my many, many mill rocks, and I should be okay. So that's my plan here. Yeah. Um, I think it might have been silly of my opponent to play Dark Confidant before Tarmogoyf. Uh, I think Tarmogoyf might have been the correct choice there. But I think the reason why they did this is maybe they were thinking of uh, drawing a second fetch land so they can play Kalidus. But still, I think Tarmogoyf was probably the correct play there. But of course, I'm going to kill Brutality now, and I'm not sure what my opponent has in hand. Again, now I can easily get Bridge right back. And I have Shredder on top, so I know that as if my opponent has, well, they can't cast Artifact Destruction now if they have it in their hand. So this is my chance to grab any Artifact Destruction out of their hand that they might have and kill the Confidant, and then I should easily be able to survive to land Bridge and Shredder, and then the opponent's locked out of the game at that point. They like really need the top deck, so Brutality serves a great purpose here. I know it's kind of weird that I, you know. I don't uh, that I do the extra mode for brutality, and I don't use the stirrings. But that's because I already know that the two cards that I want are right here on top of my library and in my graveyard, about to come right back. So the key point here is to make sure that they don't draw into something, and they don't have something. And sure enough, I get a terminate out of it <laughs> instead. But it was better safe than sorry. So. Yeah. Um, it does draw that Liliana, and that's unfortunate because it's smart. Now he can get back the Dark Confidant, so that's a little worrisome. <clears throat> and they have a clock, a big clock. Uh, cast a Shredder, so I end the turn I can go ahead and get the bridge back on top, and I can get rid of that Culligan's Command that's on top of their library. 
which is fortunate. I mean, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Yeah, put the bridge on top, play the bridge. So now, uh, my plan here is I got Infernal Tutor coming up. Um, so if my opponent does the Lily, uh, doesn't use Lily immediately to get Dark Confidant back, then, um, and instead like pumps it or whatever, then I can and tutor for a Needle. And the other alternative is tutor for another Brutality. And yeah, there it is. And I think what I do is go for uh, another, uh, yeah, okay, another mill rock. That way, um, the dark confidant. Uh, there's a needle on top now, but the dark confidant. Um, <clears throat> so here's my plan: the bell and shredder. I should be able to keep them from drawing anything relevant. They would have to. And Lily here is going to be very slow getting them more confidants. So I should still be able to control their draws relatively easily. On top of that, uh, Bell and Shredder will allow me to mill myself into more answers. Um, this is just, and I can just mill like crazy because Ruins will get everything right back. And they don't have... I know now that they don't have anything really big. So, yeah, Nelly, the, uh, or <laughs> Needle the other Liliana. So now it's just a matter of <clears throat> the dark confidant problem, but having uh, two mill rocks here is extremely efficient. And now I have decay. Go ahead and decay the confidant, and that is game, because now I have a really strong lock. So, uh, not a bad game against Jun. Collective brutality. I'll tell you what, and having the academy of ruins help me out too. So it looks like the spreadsheet and the brutality really helped in that. So we go to game two. Um, I posted this in the, uh, I wrote about it on the spreadsheet, but Junt has reduced the numbers of Maelstrom Pulses they normally run. Normally they used to run like one, maybe two. And now they typically run zero, which is great for us, because that means, oh, come on now, that, uh, <clears throat> what's it called? Leyline of Sanctity is great against them. Now here, um, it looks like a decent hand. It's a one lander, lantern, brutality, uh, stirrings. But my problem is I don't have black mana. So I knew if my opponent had a decent hand, I'm in big trouble and I'd have to top deck well. So I, if I'm not mistaken, I took the risk, mulligan, and now this hand is much better. Way better. Uh, Lane Lion's going to make sure that I don't get you know any discard. I don't have to worry about Lily. I'm going to drop my hand fast anyways. So they're only they they can't try to use their discard or lily anymore. So it's just they are only relying on decays and uh, ancient grudge and Culligan's command. Yeah, I had to remind my opponent like, hey, I still get to scry here. They tried to play without me scrying. I said, no, no, I get to scry, and then I put uh, leyline in play. <clears throat> so. I draw the Welding Jar, which is even better, because now Bridge is going to stay alive when I play it next turn. And there's a Lily, so Lily's not going to do squat to me, thanks to Leyline. And I'm about to dump my hand anyways. Uh, Flayer doesn't do anything to me, I'm not attacking. Now, Ghost Quarter can take out my fair. But it's not really going to matter right now, and I am remembering my fair triggers. You notice, it's uh, really important. So I know my opponent has Lily in hand, but it doesn't really matter, thanks to the needle or thanks to the uh, um, ley line. Now here, my opponent is a little confused. They don't seem to understand that welding jar makes it so that ensnaring bridge never goes to the graveyard. I have to remind my opponent that. <clears throat> so I put Welding Jar and they're like, no, no, and they want to try to use Ooze in response. Yeah, and I was like, no, that's not how that works, dude. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, so yeah, uh, I'm able to keep it alive with Welding Jar, thankfully. Um, so here, next turn, you'll notice that I'll be able to use Fair. Now, he could Ghost Quarter me, so I can't use Fair anymore, but... 
It's a. Uh, and I, I could have, you know, cast Needle here, but what I want to do is use Fair in response to the Ghost Quarter. Now that I have the mana to do it. So there's Lily. I'm okay with discarding my Pithy Needle. So I use the Fair and I go get a Pixis. Now the reason for getting the Pixis is <clears throat> I know that Jun usually runs at least one Ancient Grudge. So if I can Pixis, then I should be okay. Uh, make sure it doesn't come back. So that would be more important. So I need to control the top decks and I need to make sure that the Ancient Grudge isn't going to do it. Unfortunately, they do draw another Confidant. Now, here, I took a risk. Yeah, he starts exiling stuff in my graveyard. I took a risk here. Uh, I could have done the Pixis at the end of my opponent's turn, that way in case they had another runner on top and then a runner underneath that. <clears throat> and, of course, there's two Dark Confidants. So I need to... This is, like, worry mode right here. So... What I plan on doing is just drawing the bridge, because if they do have Artifact Destruction, I know they don't have Maelstrom Pulse, most likely. So it's got to be uh, two uh, Artifact Destruction spells here. Uh, that's what that second bridge is going to do for me. So I can go ahead and get rid of the Needle. Yeah, and they just put it there. I put mine right here, in case I ever pop the Pixis again. So now they need two artifact destruction. Now, this person tried to shortcut through the two dark confidants and then just let it go with lantern uh, without uh, giving me a chance to respond with lantern during their upkeep before their draw. So I had to remind them, no, put the engineered explosives back. I'm going to pop my lantern to shuffle that away. Because <clears throat> I know I have infernal tutor on top anyways, I can just look for another lantern and I'll be safe. I'm like, no, no. Put it back, dude. I think he actually even drew an extra card there, if I'm not mistaken. And this is all me, like, explaining it to him. Yeah. Holy crap. I mean, he drew a ridiculous number of cards that turn when he wasn't supposed to. But... Whatever. Oh yeah, tries the Ghost Quarter, and then he forgets to put the Ghost Quarter in the graveyard. I had to remind him to do that. So I pointed from the Ghost Quarter to him to be like, Hey dude, put your Ghost Quarter up. It's gone. <clears throat> so, I'm still good. Uh, I can still easily tutor. For another Lantern, which I do. So this Brutality is going to be able to make it so I can kill one Confidant. What I need yeah, um, is to make sure that they don't get something like this. Fortunately, that was the <coughs> fourth card down. So I, was, uh, I dodged that bullet. I was fortunate. I mean, I still could have Pixis it, but... I would rather not, because I really want that Brutality to kill a Confidant to help increase my chances of milling anything they have on top in the future. Yeah, they he tried to draw an extra card again. I was like, no, you drew your card. You drew a Graph Digger's Cage. Which is interesting, by the way. I don't know why he cited in Graph Digger's Cage against me. Um... I have no idea. <laughs> so use the brutality, kill a confidant, exile both top cards. So now I just need both the top two cards to not be anything good, which chances are it's not going to. And fortunately it's not. So next card is abrupt decay. I just kill the confidant. And now I have complete control of the top card of my opponent's library. 
And I'm trying, I was using Pixis there to uh, dig myself into more mill rocks. Yeah, I go ahead and decay the ooze there. And oh, he's got another one. But. So there's another bridge on top. So that means between this lock and these bridges, my opponent probably does not have enough artifact destruction in their library to take me out. So that's pretty much game. And the opponent concedes. Uh, especially after <laughs> stirrings. And I believe I got a, I was going to get a mill rock off of there in the uh, codex shredder. So Pixis was great there. The uh, ley line was outstanding there. I don't know if you noticed how many burn spells and discard spells were completely worthless against me. And including uh, uh, the Liliana. Um, but yeah, it's good stuff.